Welcome to this video all about the recent announcement of SharePoint's Copilot feature. Before we start talking about SharePoint um, and using the Copilot features, let's talk a little bit first about what is Microsoft Copilot. Now, um, we have recently ran a webinar uh, which goes into a lot more detail about all the different uh, elements that Copilot will be working with. So things like Microsoft Word, uh, Excel, PowerPoint, as well as Power Platform and loads of other Microsoft 365 products. Um, so if you want some more details on Copilot, I, I suggest you go check that out uh, first. But a quick high level, Microsoft Copilot is an AI powered virtual assistant. It's a chat interface that will be built into multiple different Microsoft 365 products, um, which is all designed to streamline the way that you're working. Uh, and as I, it works with all the Microsoft 365 suite of applications um, for, for helping you build out new power apps, um, helping you summarize data inside of an Excel spreadsheet or creating content inside of a Word document. Um, Microsoft have still not yet fully announced a release date um, for Microsoft Copilot. But what they have committed to is that these products are going to be available in preview um, before the end of 2023. So the first thing that, that Copilot will be doing inside of SharePoint is enabling site creation. So this will allow you to create sites with human language and spend less time setting up the site uh, and more time focusing on the actual content of the site. Um, it will automatically align to your company brand uh, and actually there's an announcement um, that I'm also going to include at the end of this video to talk a little bit more about that feature um, and, and actually there's a bit of an example video that Microsoft have provided which will show you exactly how this copilot works you'll be able to go in and create a new site put in uh, a, a request say for example create an employee onboarding site for product managers um, uh, to use as, uh, as an onboarding and even include things like attaching uh, a document like a PowerPoint here that is going to use the content of that PowerPoint to help understand what you would want your site to then look like and it will create that site and spin that up for you. Um, and if something isn't right, Copilot will work with you to correct and improve that content. So the next thing then is actually the content element of what Copilot brings to SharePoint. So Copilot will act as your own kind of personal web design partner. Um, it will take your content out of documents, Word documents, PowerPoint presentations, and turn them into SharePoint pages. It will allow you to rewrite text if you're not happy with it. And you can even do things like changing the tone of voice to make sure there's a level of consistency. Um, so let's take a little look at what this looks like. So on a SharePoint page, we can go into our Copilot feature and we can say create a spec page using uh, one of these documents that I've, I've already uh, got created. It will then say, okay, here it goes. It goes off and creates a page based on the information that we've got inside that Word document. However, if you're not too happy with something, you can even go into specific text web parts and ask it, can you rewrite this text for me? I don't like this. And it will then allow you to regenerate some different suggestions and you can input different suggestions or manually type in your own text as well. Um, as I say, there also is options for having tone of voice to make sure there's a, a certain level of consistency. You can also get it to help uh, generate kind of images and image placements based on uh, content that you've provided. So it, it's, it's a smart, intelligent way of creating content with inside your SharePoint. So a lot of the kind of um, customers I work with, it's not just about creating the SharePoint site. It's also about creating some of these content and that can take a lot of time actually getting the content into your SharePoint intranet. Whereas with this SharePoint for Copilot, um, that will speed that process right up and you'll be able to take content you've probably already got inside of documents and quickly turn that into a SharePoint site, which has a much better engagement. So some other things as well, just to talk about um, some new features which have been announced alongside uh, Copilot for SharePoint is that page co-authoring will become uh, available um, in the near future. So this is something which everybody is kind of familiar with inside of Word and Excel and PowerPoint where you can work on these documents together at the same time. But it's something that I get asked time and time again during SharePoint training sessions is why is it that we can't edit a SharePoint page or site at the same time? Soon you'll be able to do that. You'll be able to co-author these pages 
in exactly the same way that you co-author Word documents where you'll be able to see who's editing uh, at what particular point of the page and you don't have to worry about this kind of uh, checking a page in before somebody else can check it out to edit it. You'll be able to co-author those documents, at the, uh, those pages at the same time. There's going to be some new cool uh, templates which are going to be released for things like newsletters, event announcements, project tracking, uh, trip reports, product brochures. Loads of new templates are coming to SharePoint to make it even easier to get this content in. Again, um, you'll be able to leverage the SharePoint for Copilot in order to use some of those templates. Also, something else, again, which a number of my clients have been asking about for a long time is the uh, integration between the Microsoft 365 product that's known as Stream, which is essentially a little bit like an internal YouTube where you can create channels of videos and things like that. An example might be that you're creating a channel of videos for onboarding, so as your new starters uh, and new employees are joining, uh, that you can get them to watch a channel a set of videos. Uh, whereas up, and, up until uh, this announcement, the problem with that is that Stream is actually split into two separate uh, kind of versions, a little bit like what SharePoint did a number of years ago, where there was a classic element of SharePoint and a modern experience of Stream. And actually, uh, the, it's only the classic experience of uh, Stream, which is being uh, deprecated, uh, is available in SharePoint via WebPAR, whereas now they've announced actually they are bringing this uh, forward and they're going to be creating a new Stream WebPAR, which is going to have the modern experience inside of your SharePoint internet. And the final thing which I'm really excited to see as well is uh, the announcement that the Brand Center is going to be released. Um, so the Brand Center is um, essentially an area uh, in which um, you will be able to designate exactly what um, fonts, colors, stylings, uh, things like that, that you want your SharePoint site to be able to use. And then that is actually going to then take um, all of your brand elements are in one place. So it means then you can provide the business a kind of set of guide rails to what your brand um, is inside of SharePoint. And you can be confident that site owners are staying on brand. This is something I see all the time when helping people setting up an intranet is actually you do loads of really good work right at the beginning to create um, your uh, brand inside of, of SharePoint. Um, but then you hand it over to site owners um, who then go off piste and start using all sorts of different uh, colors and, and, and things like that. Um, so this is actually something that, that is going to be really useful to make sure that, um, that, that site owners are staying on brand uh, guidelines. Um, also, I'm hoping we're going to see some more things around um, being able to add more colors in different areas of SharePoint. I'm hoping as well that the fonts will allow us to have um, very specific fonts uh, and branded fonts, because again, that's something I get asked all the time is about branded fonts um, and, and getting those into your overall internet. And of course, with all of this, Copilot for SharePoint is going to leverage that brand center to make sure that when you are creating a new site and you're asking it to create a new site in your human readable language, um, it's automatically going to be looking at your brand center to, to figure out what fonts, colors, logos that it should be using throughout these sites that it's automatically creating. I hope you enjoyed that video and it was useful to you. If it was, please like this video and subscribe to our channel uh, for more future Microsoft 365 tips and tricks.